Can I have 15 more minutes when they come back from PE? What? 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 How did you even know it was me? I'm a teacher. I have eyes in the back of my head. No, seriously. How did you know it was me? That's how you open the door. <laughs> you checking me out? Maybe. Did you wear that yesterday? Yes, Greg. And I decided that I like this outfit so much that I had to wear it again today. I think it's frowned upon in the fashion industry. Well, I'm starting a new trend. Could be a stinky trend. Maybe it's my hair. Did you, did you cut it? Shorter. So, Anderson's teaching to an empty classroom again. Again? Again. And I need to borrow her TE. But when I got to the door and saw what she was doing, it kind of felt wrong to interrupt. And so you want me to do it? Well, she already doesn't like you, so... All right, let me just wrap this up and I'll grab it for you. Thanks. So, the last time you were here, there was that biker chick? That's Mrs. Anderson. She is... You know what, why don't you just go watch her for a few minutes and you will find out everything you need to know. Concrete nouns are like London is to a Brit, or turps, or bits and bobs, or um, a, a draft cow. Terps? Why, that's what you Americans call it, a drinking binge. It's what Dylan's dad does every weekend. Right now. Now, abstract nouns are a wee bit harder to understand because you can't see them or you can't hear them. They're like, oh, someone's push or um, donkey years or pavement pizza. Dearie, could you write that a little nicer? It looks a bit shambolic. Good day. Kids are at P.E. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose they are. I was just, uh, rehearsing. <sighs> Ye old English day. Brooke was asking if she could borrow your T.E. You think we could make that happen? Oh, certainly, dearie. It's in the bookcase there by the W.C. Water closet. Bathroom. Bathroom. Uh, oh. Here it is. Thank you. Rack off. So that's Mrs. Anderson. She's different. Might not be the best word, but I don't know that I'm qualified to use any other better ones. Put it this way, the woman's been teaching over four decades now. Probably should have retired about 15 years ago. Mrs. Anderson is insane. And I don't mean that figuratively in any way. I mean literally in the sense of the word, she's insane. Bipolar, multiple personality disorder. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I'm not sure. But the point is that there is not a student in that classroom that's drifting off to La La Land. And nowadays, that's pretty much how you have to teach. Everybody's got a, a play box or an X station. It, it puts you in a bad situation. I mean, in her case, she has the highest test scores in the state, so no administrator worth their salt is going to let her go. But the woman's certifiable. Uh, it honestly, it, it makes you wonder what even makes a good teacher anymore. Is it somebody that gets up and does this dog and pony show? This curriculum isn't making any of our jobs any easier. But do I have to get up there and do some sort of performance just to keep kids engaged? It honestly makes me wonder if this is even a job that I want to do anymore. So, with Mrs. Anderson, every day is an adventure.
When my husband, Mr. Claus, feeds the reindeers, he makes sure he gives them lots of alfalfa. Alfalfa is a plant that helps on their digestive system. You could say it gives them their get up and go. What is this? I just needed more space. And where are you off to in such a jiffy, Mr. Diggins? Oh, um, Mrs. Anderson. She made the kids cry again. Oh, golly. We'll talk. We'll, we'll talk. Like I said, different. Hey, Egg. How you been? Mr. Juan, how are you? Good. Hey, Samantha misses speech today. Oh, well, Samantha was actually absent. Oh, cierto, cierto. Gotcha. This is Mr. Juan. Everybody calls him Mr. Juan because they can never remember what his actual name is. Mr. Juan, what is your full name? Juan Felipe Cristiano Juan Carlos Monteleviola y la calle. <laughs> See what I mean? I'll be sure to send Samantha on Thursday if she's here. Gracias. Taco Grande. Now, you probably could tell that Mr. Juan is Spanish. He's Colombian, actually. So, naturally, he would be our ESL teacher. English is a second language. You'd be incorrect. He is our school's speech pathologist. No, no, no. He's Percy. Percy. Are you sure? Si, yes. But that's a J. I thought it was Jersey. No, it's Percy. Like the candy bar. The problem is, nobody actually sees the job he does, because... Look, I work with mostly women. There's not a single woman in this building that can see anything beyond the man's looks. So, as far as they're all concerned, he's perfect. I'm a bit jealous. Don't want to talk about it, though. Just go away. Hey, sweetie. Did you have a good day? Wait. Were you wearing that yesterday? No, Daddy. That would be weird. Are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, yeah, I just have to finish up a quick email to Mr. Diggins. Did you know it was me that time? Yep. Hey, Bridgie. I like your outfit today. I like yours, too. Thanks. What? Uh, nothing. So, when are we going to hang out again? We can the next time my dad takes a day off. Can we, Daddy? Can we? Yes, sweetie. Whatever you want. Yes, can we get our clothes thing done again? Um, you mean the pedicure thing? Yeah. I don't see why not. What color do you want to get this time? Maybe green with a light pink. Oh, 